welcome to this episode of Goose Hunt with Great Lakes Guided Outdoors, a unique and outstanding guiding service out of Michigan that offers some amazing waterfall and turkey hunts. It is ran by a passionate and hardworking outfitter that goes by the name of Connor Goff. Connor works hard to make sure that his clients have not only a great hunt, but a great experience. On today's hunt, we were able to spend some time with a group of ladies from the Woman of the Wild. We're targeting Canada geese in an oat field. Woman of the Wild Co. focuses on involving and educating ladies of all ages and experience levels in the outdoor scene. Come tag along and tune in on this awesome hunt. Even though you can turn around, try and keep it between 10 and 2 in front of you, so not too far to the left, not too far to the right, unless you're on the ends, you can shoot a little bit farther to the sides. If, without having wind today, they may swing behind us or whatever, I'll try and communicate as best I can if we end up having to shoot some out the back door or they decoy over us or whatever, they do goofy things with no wind. If we do have to turn around, shoot out the back, keep your muzzle pointed straight up in the air, turn around and then bend shoulder your gun out instead of shouldering and turning right past somebody, we don't want to do that. So. Hunting over the dogs, we treat the dogs just like a person. So if any of us are out in the decoys, we don't point the gun at them. If the dogs are out with decoys, we don't point the gun at them either. So try and keep your muzzles up when the dogs are out working, safety's on. Um, as we're shooting the volleys, we'll keep the dogs tied off. Um, every once in a while, they might bust off a chain or whatever, just be mindful. If a dog does end up in the decoys, obviously don't shoot them. But if there's cripples on the ground after a volley, um, just wait for Jason and I to get on the same page. Like, hey, there's a cripple walking around over here that might fly away. We'll say, hey, somebody on the right, shoot that goose. Somebody on the left, shoot that goose, whatever. Whatever's a safe shot. Just keep an eye on your muzzle at all times. Keep control of your gun, safety on until it's time to shoot. And that'll probably conclude the safety side of it. Um, as far as hiding goes in here, as you see, it's not very cloudy. So once the sun gets up, we will have a shadow. We want to stay in the shadows. If you're not in the shadow, everything's real shiny, your hair, hat, whatever, anything. So really keep an eye on that. Kind of stay below the grass or below the bushes or whatever. Any questions, comments, concerns at any time, please let us know. Don't let the brush above your head be intimidating when he, when he says kill him. Just stand, just stand up, up right through it. through it. Don't even think about it. Don't push it out of the way. Just stand up, let adrenaline kick in. Level out and shoot. And try to listen, try to key in on what we're saying as far as where the birds are. You're gonna be able to see some of it, but you might not see everything that we're seeing. Just uh, keep a good ear and we'll try to get you guys the best harvest we can. Good morning, guys. We're over here near Lake Huron this morning. Uh, I had about 120 geese in here last night. They haven't been real settled. They just got here last night. They weren't here the previous couple days, but every once in a while it's a mad scramble. So hopefully they act like they're comfortable. They want to be here today. We get some good shooting in, so stay tuned. So this morning we have the women of the wild hunting with us. I think we have six or seven ladies out here today. So it should be a fun fun morning getting, getting the girls out, doing some goose shooting. So we'll see uh, a lot of first timers. So hopefully they enjoy. So this morning's like super calm no wind at all so we left the individual bags over top of all the decoys just to keep some of that dew and shine off of these decoys most of them are all painted so even though they have you know paint that's designed to not shine too bad we try and keep all that moisture off as best we can so it's just one less factor that we have to worry about Here, good, back, good boy, here, good boy, here, good, dead.
Get ready, ladies. All right, lady, there's geese on the ground. Get ready. You guys have geese on the ground right here. Try and let these ones spin one more time. All right, go ahead, ladies. Let's shoot these geese. Right here, go ahead. Shoot them, shoot them. <laughs> Dog here. Dog here. Dog. How many did we get? Two? I think so, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, good. You know, if they're further to the to the right, you know, on the end, you'll shoot the birds to the right so that the ladies on the inside can shoot the ones on the inside. Right side, go ahead, kill that goose. Right side, right, right at your feet. Shoot that shoot goose. It, shoot, shoot, him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Stop. Nicely done. Let's put the keys in the decoys. Hey. I couldn't pop that. coming around behind. I'm about to be able to grab this goose right here. Get ready, ladies. We're gonna shoot him this way. All right, go ahead, guys. Shoot the low right here. Yeah, there is. Let's go. Let's All right, go. Let's All right, ladies, load up and cover up. We got more geese coming. Here, here, let's go, Doug. Here, here. <laughs> Somebody shoot this goose right here, right here, right in front of you, right in front of you. Shoot him again. Shoot him again. Shoot him again. There we go. Dead eye. Doug. He's like, the goose is not in the blind. Mm -hmm. 
My name is Cassie. I am HR and Executive Team Manager for Women of the Wild. We're a uh, women's hunting and fishing organization to get more women involved into the outdoors. Today we partnered with Great Lakes Guided Outdoors to get a women's hunt, to get some of these women out goose hunting. We had a great day. Birds were flying, which is always good. We had birds on the ground. We got 14 birds today, so that was awesome. We had girls who hadn't shot at geese before, got some geese down. So all in all, it was a great day, had a great experience. Guides were wonderful and birds were great. This one was probably hatched this year. You can look at them a lot of different ways and tell, but their cheek patch is not as developed. It's almost like gray looking. And then their neck feathers, they're a different color. So they more than likely have a lot of pin feathers. If you feel in here, there's like lots of pin feathers. Then a mature bird, a duck especially, you can tell. If you look at their tail feathers, see if I can get a good one. See how they're not rounded? Oh, I see it. So, if there's like a V shape in them, instead of coming to a point or rounding all the way, they're immature. So see, like there's a good example where that's not not to a true point. Uh huh. Yeah, this one. First, let's see how these ones are a lot more rounded or pointy. Uh -huh. that's, that's an older bird. Could be two years, could be 20 years. All right, we're wrapping up our Women of the Wild hunt this morning. It looks like we finished up with 14 geese. We landed a lot of birds this morning for having no wind whatsoever, and kind of made our own hide, but we made it work. Uh, the geese liked it. I think all the ladies had a good time. Hopefully that's the plan. Everybody enjoy? Of course. All right. Well, hopefully they come back. We'll do it again sometime. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Yeah.